Howdy everybody, it's your pal Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy while I give my review of the movie Doctor Sleep. So, for those of you who do not know, Doctor Sleep is a book by Stephen King and it is the sequel to The Shining. So, if you've never seen or read The Shining, I would definitely say that is something that you want to do before seeing this movie. But, you could probably see it without knowing that background. It, ju it definitely wouldn't be as good, in my opinion. Um... But I think maybe you could. But, I mean, go ahead. Watch The Shining. It's not, what's it going to hurt? Now, as some of you know, I am not a fan of scary movies. Because I think they're stupid. And not worth my money. Now, if you want me to watch a scary movie like at the Halloween party we had this year, that's fine. I'll watch a scary movie. It's not that I mind scary movies. not that I don't want to watch them because they're scary. I just think they're kind of stupid. But I like Stephen King movies for the most part. Now, I did not see it because I read that book and I, it just wasn't even one of my favorite Stephen King books. So, I just never saw it. I um, haven't seen the second one. If somebody plays it and it's on TV and I'm there, I guess then maybe I'll see it. Otherwise not any planning on seeing it. So, what did I think about this movie? I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty well done. But, I also have seen The Shining and multiple times. And I've read the book. Now, I will be honest, I've never read Doctor Sleep. Uh, so, I didn't know, other than the fact that it was a sequel to The Shining, I didn't really know anything about it. So, spoilers, it is, so in The Shining, I feel like you need to have a little bit of background, right? So in The Shining, this little boy and his family go to this hotel to run it um, during the winter, and it's an old, creepy hotel, and the little boy sees things, and um, things happen and you learn that the hotel itself is an evil entity um, and you learn that the boy has what he calls the shining which is his special abilities so it opens up with him and some very nostalgic scenes um, they didn't even well they tried to make it resemble the original characters, like their dress was the same. I mean, he you saw him riding the truck in the same clothes, through the same halls. And then you see Shelley Duvall's character um, later, but it's her character. It's not her. It's not someone CGI'd to look like her. It's just someone who is similar enough to where you go oh yeah and that happens later in the movie as well where there's a scene where he goes back to the hotel to the overlook um and you see Jack but it's not Jack um so it's similar right so I kind of like that they just did the essence of it not tried to throw me off with CGI. They just definitely weren't the original character, but were based on the original character, which at first you kind of have that, it throws you off, you know, because what are you going to do? But this movie was made, or The Shining was made, I'm not entirely sure, but I want to say like almost 40 years ago, if not... Oh, see, I'm 44. 
maybe not quite 40 years. I think I was really young when it came out. I didn't see it when it first came out. I saw it later in life. So, you see all that nostalgic piece of him coming back. Then you see him a little bit older. And you meet a young girl. And then you see him again. So, it traverses through time from, I believe, oh, you know what? I think it says like 1980. So, I believe it's somewhere around there when the movie came out. That sounds about right. So 1980 and then they move into more recent day and you've been introduced to this little girl as well as this band of people who kill those with the shining um, as he calls it and take on their essence or they save it to take it on later and that's how they continue to live so they it's not that they can't die as long as they have the essence of people with a shining, they, they shouldn't, right? So they have all these stored canisters because the shining is getting less. Their essences are getting less. There's not as much as there used to be. But then they find this girl. And her shining is really big and loud. And so they start a, a quest to find her, basically. Um, she meets Dan, the little boy from the first movie, of course, 40 years in the future, um, so they talk originally through a chalkboard that he has on the place where he stays, and then, um, as the little girl gets more and more sort of into it and seeing things and these people following her, um, she sees a little boy get murdered who has the shining, um, and so you see the classic red rum uh, when he's looking in the mirror of his uh, place where he stays. And then, of course, he turns around and that's when you get that it says murder. So, ultimately, as these people are looking for her, he starts to help. And they go back to the Overlook. So, all of the build-up to that was still great story. You know, you're, you're following along. You're, you know, you're, you're invested in what they're doing. You don't want anything to happen to the little girl. You know, you're learning more about um, Rose the Hat. Rose? I think. Maybe that sounds wrong. Um, but anyway, the lead bad character. Um, so then they go to the Overlook. Oh my goodness. Like just the, like you saw it in the beginning, but you saw it as a throwback to the original movie and it looked like that. So now when they go back, it's even more dilapidated and run down and there are throwback scenes where he walks the halls that he rode on the trike um, he looks through the door that was the best one you know every 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 movie not every movie but a lot of movies for me have like that moment that that's what I've been waiting for and didn't know <laughs> and that moment was when he looks through the door and you get that same view of when Jack Nicholson does that and he has the hatchet and he's trying to kill his wife. So, I loved that scene. That was really well done. Um, so they go to the Overlook and I, I feel like I want to spoil it all but then it doesn't matter because if you're watching this you know it's spoilers. Um, basically they go to the Overlook the bad lady comes and he lets out all of the people that he's been putting in boxes his life. And he's been putting all the people from the Overlook in boxes. So the, the twins, all the creepy ghosts that you meet in the original Shining. So you see them all come back out and get her, the bad guy. And so then the little girl has to put them all 
back in boxes like he did when he was younger. Um, so, so overall, that's what the movie was about. Um, very nostalgic, very 80s um, in the beginning, and I thought that was kind of cool how they how they decided to handle all that. So, um, overall. We do movies out of 10, right? So, movies out of 10, uh, seven and a half. I mean, it was a good movie. I would definitely watch it again if someone was playing it. Um, don't know that I would go out and seek the movie. Just because, again, I'm not a scary movie person. They're not my favorite kind. But out of scary movies that I've seen, that's not really scary, but... It's supposed to be. I mean, the I took Essence, or I didn't take her. I mean, she just was there. She paid for her own stuff, but um, she went with me to the movies, and she jumped a couple times. But I'm sure if you took somebody who was scared of scary movies, they probably would have thought it was scary. But I didn't, because it wasn't. But uh, it was a good movie with a good narrative. Um, the acting was, you know, decent. The throwbacks were pretty cool. The throwbacks, some of the, the ones at the end, when you're walking the same halls all dilapidate, that was pretty cool. Um, that was fun. I liked that part, so. I don't know if I'll read the book or not now that I've seen the movie. <laughs> but I, th I think I'll end. If you are a Stephen King fan and you have not watched Castle Rock on Hulu, stop whatever you're doing or whatever you're watching and go watch that right now. Again, it's one of those things, maybe it's a scary TV show. I don't know. If you like Stranger Things, go watch Castle Rock. Castle Rock is based, Castle Rock is a city that has Shawshank, it has um, Cujo, it has Carrie, it has characters who played those people in the original movie back in this series, not as their original characters, but like Sissy Spacek. She's just, she's just really good. She's still really good. Um, so, seven and a half out of ten on Doctor Sleep. Good movie. If you like Stephen King, definitely go see it. Uh, if you've seen The Shining. If you haven't, maybe see The Shining first. The Shining's still a really good movie. It holds up pretty well, even after all these years. And, um, like I said, if you haven't yet, go watch Castle Rock. It's a series right now. They're about halfway through season two, and they come out on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. But I was a little bit behind. Just got caught up uh, with the second season uh, this weekend. So, go and do that. It's, did I mention it's based on Stephen King and all the stuff in it? That's why I brought it up, because it's based in a city where Stephen King... Anyway, go watch it. So... That'll be it for today. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you know how. And if you want to see more content with movie reviews, food reviews, or where I just talk at you. And get interrupted by work there for just a second. But comment down below. Have you seen The Shining? Read The Shining? Have you seen Dr. Sleep or read Dr. Sleep? Do you have any interest in doing either of those things? Or um, have you seen Castle Rock? Just because I'm curious. Because it's, it's really great. And I think people would like it. So let me know. And have a great day. And until next time, I'll see you real soon.